Hey there, how's it going? I'm just giving it just a few seconds. I usually kind of boost out to a couple of people to let them know that I'm doing this, so I'll get started here in just a moment. I guess I can go ahead and try to jump into the shop here really quickly. I can't remember if I bought things the last time that I did this. Ah, uh, it looks like I did. Well, just out of curiosity, let's... Uh, nah, I need to save up for the energy balancer. I was gonna see what happens if I buy the die again, but oh well. I won't wait for too terribly long, I don't usually do that. I just kinda like give just a moment for some people to that I usually like boost out to to join in. I'm trying to remember exactly what happened last time I did this. It's been a little bit since I touched this game. I think I just beat Dagger Man. And then from that point, like, I don't really know like which weaknesses have worked well so far. I know Wizard Man worked against Dagger Man, and I know... Okay, I believe Trash Man worked against Leaf Man, so I think Leaf Man's weakness is still... Um, is still the outlier here. Definitely was not Axe Man, that much is sure. Alright, and with that I'll go ahead and get started. Uh, let's see, I was working on Zap Man last time, I feel like. I think I made it to him, but I can't remember if I actually was able to get his weakness or anything figured out. So I think I'll go ahead and try to do that again, just for the interest of knocking him out. So last time I was playing this, I like made the comment that um, this game had better have had the opening theme of Super Fighting Robot, which was from the Ruby Spears cartoon, but I don't think I ever actually explicitly explained that. And that also led me to another realization that I very rarely have ever like commented on any of these fan games that I play the music and soundtrack that they have. So I'll be making an effort to um, kind of comment on that a little bit more, but I will apologize if I neglect to do that. I think this one so far, like at least this stage, is giving me a really big feel of um, the Game Boy uh, game. I believe it was Mega Man 3 on there? I can't remember. I don't really remember the Game Boy orderings of things. Alright, yeah, so the main gimmick of this stage is those magnets that change the direction of gravity, as well as the, um, those, um, electrical guys, just kind of, um, whenever they shoot shocks of electricity into those floors, it causes them to get electrified. And I just have to jump before they do that. I already got the letter from here, so that's one less thing to worry about. Uh, so it definitely, like, a lot of the fan games that I've played definitely look like they are, like, real Mega Man games. The big problem that I have with this one in particular is the lack of controller support is kind of infuriating. I mean, like, I've kind of hit a point now where I've gotten used to it, so it's not as big of a deal, but definitely not the best thing in the world. Uh oh that was scary. I'll go ahead and try to get some of the negative criticism out of the way, but, like, I've, I've kind of went into detail about this already, so I'll try not to... I'll try not to ream on the game too badly, because overall, I do actually think that it's a good premise and everything. Um, the game has some very noticeable performance issues in that, um, like, the frame rate, like, if you see it kind of choppy, it's probably that way on my end as well. Which, that's a little bit disappointing, because, um, 
you know, it just kind of makes the general kind of play experience a little bit less exciting whenever I, you know, like whenever I feel like the performance is kind of holding me back in some ways. Um, another thing is, is like I said, the lack of controller support really is kind of annoying, just because I, I traditionally play these with a controller. Uh, pretty much any of the Mega Man fan games, or even the actual Mega Man games, I'm using a PlayStation 3 controller, actually. Uh, the Robot Masters seem okay in, like, the upgrade paths in the game, though. Um, I liked kind of collecting all the different pieces um, of the armor and stuff like that, and they definitely do have a noticeable um, benefit in this game, which... Oops. I misread the thing on that. That's my bad. Um, which it actually does, to me, have, like, a noticeable impact on the fact that this game's controls are already kind of a little bit of a, like, buggy mess. It kind of helps to smooth out some of that. Um, you know, like, you, you do a lot more damage with your charge buster, you can jump further. Uh-oh. You can die to pits because you suck at magnets. I do like that they had an option in the options screen to turn off the charge sound, though. Like, that would have gotten really old really fast to hear that constantly. time through this. The last time I got impatient through there, it ended up killing me quite a lot. And can I jump back up there? Well, I definitely can. I'm definitely capable of it. Alright. So we have the daggers now. We'll try that on Zapman just because we got a new weapon. Otherwise, I'll just buster him. Nope, that does not appear to be a weakness. Oh, leaves are actually his weakness. I must not have had that the last time I fought him. on going back to that stage then. That was kind of a good stage to kind of get warmed back up to the keyboard controls too, honestly. Ah, there's our shield weapon. Not the leaf shield, surprisingly. Let's go to the shop. Get that. Oh, we're just short of the hair dye again. Um, another small annoyance is on these um, menus, it's actually not possible to hit the B button to go back on them. That's kind of fun. Okay. My theory is Zapman, Soakman, Electric beats water. Let's give that a shot. Oh no, this guy looks like Aquaman from Mega Man 8. I kind of wish the charge shot would stop those guys, but I do like that kind of idea of splitting like that. And what water level would be complete without the spikes of just dicking? Uh, the enemy design in this game, like, I haven't commented on that too terribly much, but I actually do like the enemy design in this game. All of, like, the, the negative things that I have to say about it still stand true, but I... 
I would be lying if I didn't say that I liked some of the enemies in this game. Um, like those little bubble guys, I just like that they kind of break apart like that. And even whenever you um, def get hit by them, uh, they still um, they still go away after that. Wait, no, there's got to be something back there. I think I missed something, and I feel bad now. Okay, the waterfalls do um, cause your jumps to become shorter. Good to know. I'm actually going to leave him alive because I want to use him for invulnerability frames. I'm not going to go for all of those. Do I need a life, though? I could always go for one. Well, I lied. I am going to go for all of them. Oh! Alright, because I got the armor upgrade, my, um... The damage that I take from spikes is severely reduced. Which is good, because now I have one health left. It's okay, I've just got to not get hit the rest of the time here, no big deal. Oh good, and a mini-boss to fight. This is going to go well. That was my own demise. Oh, okay, this is just the restart point. Can I go this way? Haha, <laughs> I knew it. There was just something about that room and the way it was set up where I was just like, no, there's something about this. That's a cool um, little sprite effect on Mega Man there. Definitely like the transparency of being able to see his helmet through it all still, too. I don't know how I made that jump, but I'm just not going to ask. I still don't have my jump precision or anything like that, but I can still rapid fire a little bit. I feel like a lot of my problems with this game and the lack of controller support would have been a lot bigger if the upgrades weren't so just awesome. Uh, the fast charge was really helpful, the, um, you know, like, the reduced damage from enemies and stuff like that. Like, if, if this were a game where I normally have my controller, I'd be like, ah, this is too easy, like, you know, you've given me too many good upgrades, but I think in this game it kind of works out just because, um... You know, you're, you're kind of, like, initially weak whenever you start out the game. Like, your buster, like, doesn't even completely kill Mets at all. Ooh, that's some frame rate lag. Let's see what this does. Alright, just up to that point. Gotcha. Ah, oh, we get some physics there, too, so I can go... Oh, not quite. Uh-oh. That enemy using the power stone of all things. Oh, I see what this is about. That's an interesting little puzzle. I feel like there's something about that block, but I'm not quite sure what it is. It's just aesthetic, honestly. So I definitely hear a little bit of uh, Splash Woman's theme in this a little bit, but still pretty distinct, honestly, all things considered. I am spamming the slide button there, but just the way that the graphic kind of appeared, it made it seem like I was just, um, I'm constantly sliding. 
we already have the boss for this level? That was fast. Let's see, where is it? Dagger. Let's try that first, just because we have it. Uh-oh, where's that? Ah, yeah, that's it. God, this... This is a shield weapon, I'm not sure. I'm not a fan of this shield weapon at all. It did seem like it was deflecting the shots, but also, like, just the amount of damage I wasn't taking from him anyways. Like, I had to get awfully close for that thing to hit him. Um, I, I don't know, like, I'm looking back at the replay of it, and it does look like the hit detection was okay on it. I'm not a fan of it. Oh, cool, it's Thunderwool, but actually decent looking? Now we can definitely afford the hair dye. Okay, it does change the color rapidly. There we go. That's good. Go ahead and grab some of this stuff while I'm thinking about it. Save the game. Oops, almost quit the game. That would have been bad. Alright. So... Zatman to Soakman, correct assumption. Uh, Leafman to Zatman, that was a good assumption. Trashman to Leafman, yes. Uh, Wizardman to Daggerman was a yes. So Dagger's gonna work on one of these two guys. We'll go to Coleman, since I've already been through Axeman's level. That'll be kind of like a good finisher to all of this. I do not like that design one bit. <laughs> That's a rectangle with a grumpy face. Ooh, Sniper Joe with a flamethrower. I wonder if he's called a Burner Joe. That'd be a cool name for him. Mess, you have to jump a little bit to hit them. I feel bad for saying it, but this game does kind of suffer from Mega Man 5 a little bit in the sense that it's just honestly less beneficial to use anything but the Charged Buster, it feels like. Okay, this is a little bit that's um, pulled directly from Drill Man's stage. Uh, this part is a little bit less so. Okay. Well, the fire did hurt me, but just not really. I don't like that design of the fire just kind of being there, honestly. Lava is insta-kill even with iframes. That's scary. little hit on that. I'm trying to figure out what the music's going for with this exactly. Actually hearing this far into it, like, I, I do like the way that this song sounds. I feel like it's missing a little bit of melody, but at the same time, I do kind of like the sort of fire theme kind of feel it has to it. Also, those little mini fires will just continue to stab damage as long as you're in them, so that's kind of an interesting feature. Usually, damage in Mega Man games is just contact damage and that's it. So that's kind of interesting.
I wonder if the um, if the damage increases by having these uh, Mega Man parts, though. Honestly. I knew I was going to see that letter somewhere here. Okay. Fire, that's going to do a little bit of damage to me. What the hell? Oh, that's cool. That buffs my um, buster shots. Does it? Are all my buster shots just like that? I guess I haven't been paying attention. Like, have my buster shots always just had that little, like, blue glow with them? No, nah, that has to be because I stuck them through the fire. That's absolutely gotta be because of that. I missed the jump button there. That was my fault. Well, I might have to take back what I said about this only being a buster game. Buster got an upgrade, like, whenever I... No, because I feel like I was... Yeah, like, I was definitely fighting those guys regularly beforehand. Oh, I bet it's because I got the final letter just there. That's probably what it is. Do I have beat in here? Okay, I do have beat. I'm really stumped about that. Kind of nice getting two hits at once now. Still kind of sad that I can't beat a med in a single shot, though. Alright, let's not screw up a simple jump this time. There we go. Oh, I was going to go for it, but guess not now. Alright, I do not want to go through the lava because that would be bad. I wonder if there is a way. Can I... Oh, that would have been cool. That reminds me, I do need to try to use these weapons a bit more as well. Uh-oh. That was bad. You know what? I'm going to start using the weapons, because the trash attack would have definitely gotten me through that, I think. Oh man, and that freaking destroys him. We actually have a lot of rain on the weapons we use right now. Okay. So, we're gonna try dagger on him, and then we'll try soak on him. I bet soak is going to work, though. Yep, there we go. Oh yeah, murders him. Okay, not a big fan of that weapon, though. Okay, my biggest complaint about the soak weapon is the fact that um, I'm guessing you could probably like swap weapons and dismiss it, but um, a big criticism that I have of weapons is like I don't want to have to rely on things like that. So it's cool that it kind of does the thunder wool attack all the way from the beginning of it and spreads upwards and kind of spreads out. I'm a little bit less of a fan of... Um, 
god, that looks like a big attack. Um, I'm a little bit less of a fan of the fact that it doesn't dismiss or at least let you try to... Um, at least let you try to kind of fix it on the way. Like, you know, like if you shot a second shot of it, dismiss the first one and cause them to come out. Admittedly, that would be kind of a problem for someone like me, who spams a lot, so... I don't know if I would be perfectly okay with that. Alright, we've got to figure out if our buster is still upgraded. Okay, so there's Mega and there's Beat. I'm looking back at the playback, so I bet whenever I got all four letters, that's what upgraded my buster to where it's at now. I didn't mention it in this um, stage last time, but there's a sound in there that kind of sounds like a um, what you would tr traditionally think of as like a thunder sound, like a little and I'm not a fan of that being a a main sound of a uh, like of a song in a game. That guy died and gave me life on top of it. Okay, these this buster upgrade is pretty nice, though. Alright, let that swing back, forward. There we go. Yeah, that sound that just happened. Not a fan of it. Alright. So yeah, I'm hitting the fire button right now, and because I didn't place that properly, all of those drills just not getting hit by it. Magic attack's pretty cool. Uh, trying to see if there's anything that will destroy those shields. I think with the zap attack, you move faster whenever you have it. I couldn't do that without the enhanced jump, I don't think. And those axes hurt like a motherfucker. At least this is a shield weapon that you can kind of spam a little bit. I'm still admittedly not a big fan of it. I cast Magic Missile. Destroys that poor guy. Oh, yeah, that's right. I have the thing that doubles my um, amount of energy from these as well, so that's probably also helping out quite a lot. I have to remember that whenever I'm judging these weapons is I'm kind of using a slightly enhanced version of them. Okay, so Soak worked on Coal, Trash worked on Leaf, uh, let's see, Leaf worked on, I think it was Zap? There we go, our Coal attack. Let's go after the assumption of like blacksmithing or something like that, let's just superheat the axe. If that doesn't work, then it's gonna be Dagger. It's Dagger. I guess they're going for um, attack speed beats attack power.
Okay, his attack pattern was a little bit weird. He kind of had like the cool Castlevania throwing axes, which I hope that's the weapon so bad. Honestly, that didn't really feel like a good weakness, and I think it's just because of the invulnerability frames and the, like, the swiftness of the weapon just not meshing together well. Can you throw it up? Yes! Awesome. That gives me those good old Castlevania vibes. I think we're on the Wily stages now. Oh, are they gonna actually do the big reveal here? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, okay, he's not actually admitting it there, but I do like that he made the call out. He was really telling the truth this time. I believe him. Alright, here we go. I think in my first video, it took me quite a while to get through, like, most of the Robot Masters that time, and, like, today I just kind of did that in about half the time. to know that those alarms actually are, um, bad. God, they explode three times. And towards you. Do I have all my lives? Yes, I do. Don't really need to. Oh, God. If you want to know any enemy that makes me the most upset, it is enemies that jump up from the ground like that, because they are absolutely my kryptonite. If you put one of those in your game, there is a near guarantee that I will fall for it. Wait. Did I just survive from a pit? Oh, right, that's right. I think my armor kind of does that for me. Ah, uh, the trash robots. I remember those from the Trash Man stage. Alright, I forgot those guys kind of, um... Just shoot wherever you are, they have aimbot. life over the small ones. My Mega Buster's turned into a laser cannon at this point. Uh-oh. Oh god, fuck you. If 
Fool me twice, or fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, that's my fault. Fool me three times and I'm just an idiot. Okay, so this buster's still not good on thin enemies because it's not able to cleave through them correctly. That is just an evil setup. So is this. That's fine, though. We made it. Oh, they've also increased the limit of um, shots that I can have on screen at once, which would be great if I could spam faster. Spikes first, it looks like. Oh, yeah, it's the leaf boomerang. Alright, saving. Sorry, I had to check something really quick. One, two, three, four, five. I'm sure that's gonna change to Wily stages soon enough, though. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Good old energy balancer. Okay. If I've learned anything, it's that I want to go through this tougher spike section. Or not. Oh god, that's a crosshair on me. See, that would have been a mistake if I didn't have that, um, that armor upgrade. It's just that, like, every game with those spike pits like that use the same kind of, um, setup for them. But I just never feel like I've ever had any, like, real issues with, um, kind of dealing with those. Like, I'm grateful that they're not more difficult, but at the same time it's kind of just like, why aren't they more difficult? This movement feels so good right now. I didn't think that I would say that about, you know, about this game after how much shit I'm giving the control setup, but they've done a really good job of making this just control well, all things considered. I 
might also be kind of just the design of this level, but like I like the fact that it kind of has this sort of like chase feeling to it. Uh-oh. This game has a lot of spikes, and like I can definitely see how this would be challenging if it were a traditional Mega Man game because of that. But I gotta say, I really like that this game gives you that upgrade that makes spikes a little bit less of a hassle because it really gives you the chance to kind of emphasize that sort of um, that learning structure that Mega Man games are pretty traditionally known for. Because that would have killed me right there and I would have been sad. That is going to be Axie. I'm just going to take a guess. Oh yeah, this looks like something that you're dropping something down onto him. Uh, that doesn't appear to be it, actually. It's not that, but I do like that that weapon still acts as a pretty good um, damage over time as a result, though. Oh, it's the trash. It's all about that weird positioning. Sorry, paused out of the game for a second. Hopefully that didn't show up on stream too bad. I hate that I can't... Okay, there we go. I can do that, though. Ooh, this is going to be a long climb. I keep calling it Wily stage music, which I think is not fair because we don't know that it's Wily yet, even though we know that it's Wily yet. Just casually dodge those guys. The trash man. Hello, Jake Soul 12. Oh, I bet those are the Quick Man lasers. I can feel it in my bones. If I hit those, I'm instantly dying. Glad I did not climb the rest of that ladder because holy shit. <laughs> Gave myself a haircut. Hmm, why is there glass there? Also, that. Let's try something. Nope. Alright, let's figure out what this glass does. Nothing. Why is it there? I guess it kind of. Okay, never mind. I think I see why it's there. It's to kind of be like, hey, look, this is where you go to dodge the... Or this lets the laser pass through solid walls. Dr. Weird Guy, thank you for making a laser section that is not the worst thing in the world. I might be a little bit quick to judge on that, but thank you nonetheless. Can we go through here? No. No. I'm actually okay with instant death lasers whenever they kind of have like a place where you can just sit back and figure out the pattern to them. Example right here. Right here's my sweet spot.
I just hate it. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, never mind. They're not instant death. God, am I really about to say that I'm disappointed that the lasers aren't instant kill? I don't want to say that. I'm not going to. I just thought that they would. That seemed kind of like the point of making them like that, where they, um, where they kind of stop and go. Oh god. Let's just chill out here for a second. Similarly, the music in this stage. So I, I like the music in the last stage because it kind of gave that sort of chase feel. Oh god, they're not instant kill, but they still fuck you up. Oh god. I take back everything I said. These lasers are fine. I did not know that they behaved that way. I'll go ahead and pop one of these. That is one thing that this Mega Man mod does really well, is that sort of, like, really fast damage over time kind of, um, health drain. Oh, I hear that laser. I can hear it from downtown. There it is. Why, well, yes, I did just luck out and land on a platform from a blind jump where I couldn't see the platform. I really like, um, in a lot of Mega Man games, well, I mean, like, in every Mega Man game, they basically have the health drain as a, um, just, like, a singular instance, and it's usually either, you know, like, hit and you're dead, or hit and take, um, iframe damage. So I really do like that in this game, they have, like, some of these attacks that are just, like, draining your health like that. Uh-oh. Like, now they've gotten to the point where they're like, Oh, hey. You thought this wasn't challenging before. Well, guess what? Think again. Is that a laser that's going through there? I know what's gonna happen. We're gonna go through that door. Laser's gonna pierce through. How many lives do we have? We have nine. We can... We can do some um, weakness exploration. We've already used leaf. Uh, coal wasn't technically used, so we'll try that one. It's either going to be coal, or actually, I bet this one would be, maybe, ah, uh, it's daggers, gotcha. Alright, we got to do this damage list now, and we failed. I didn't think I was going to do that for the record. That would have been a good clutch of the stream, though, but... I just didn't have any confidence in it. He's probably got another pattern that he's going to do at 50% health anyways. A lot of these um, bosses in these seem to have that. Oh man. If I could have dodged that last one, I think I would have actually had him last time now that I see that he was looping his patterns. That's a fun little boss. I bet that one would be an interesting one to kind of do, um, Buster only. I need to learn to hit up on that. Dio knives. <laughs> if only you had a time stopper in this one as well. Oh, this is gravity, I can tell right here. A thwomp? How do we do this, then? Oh, I, I guess I gotta jump from the thwomp's side. There we go. Now, these are the kind of gravity-related puzzles I kind of was hoping to see in, um, in Gravity Man's stage a long time ago, whenever that game was out. Uh, 
this one's five times. Oh, point five times. Okay. Hope I didn't miss anything important from not getting up there. Okay, just uh, what? Had a weird sound glitch happen there. I guess all my weapons are full now. When are we going to get a Thwomp Man in our Mega Man games? Knowing some of the game creators out there... Oh, thank you, based... Um, I think that was the leg mod. Knowing some of the game creators out there, though, that already exists. There's definitely been something like a Mario Man in one of like the sort of um, joke games before. That's an easy jump. Okay, there is a little bit of space on those. I feel like those um, thwomps could use a little bit more instantaneous uh, reaction on their um, thwomping. done all the high gravity stuff, now it's time to do all the water level gravity stuff. Uh oh. This is not what I wanted, game. I'm sorry. Anybody who's ever wanting to learn how to play a Mega Man game for the first time, one of the first things I implore that you learn is how to um, kind of shorten your jumps, because it'll make sections like these in water levels, because they always have sections like that in water levels where there's a ceiling of spikes. Um, just knowing when to drop your jump is like one of the most important skills that you can kind of have, and that's outside of the jumping and shooting. Some of the games have different water physics, but what's usually going to happen is you're going to have um, your jump arc, and you want to kind of stop the jump a little bit shorter than you would think that you would want to, because you will hang in the air for a little bit after it, after you do the jump. Well, that guy's going to go everywhere now, even to hell. don't change the gravity until you specifically go through those areas. So we have to go in there to change the gravity to 0.5. It probably would be asking too much, and like I fully understand that, but it would have been cool if they would have had the thwomps um, react to the gravity as well, like have them fall faster or something like that. I can't imagine how difficult this would have been without the enhanced jumping um, armor, or with the spike detection. I would have died a lot more, that's for sure. Okay. The classic, um, the same level, I don't even know what to call that where the platforms are on the same kind of level and you have to kind of um, jump between them. Okay. I can take plenty of other hits, but spikes are not something I can take a hit from right now. See, they want you to think that you can make the jump from up there, but I bet you have to come down here first. The Thwomp Mans are like the Chains of Metal Man stage. Yep, that's kind of the vibe that I was getting from them. I was actually kind of expecting them to behave the same way, too. I was, I was figuring as soon as they got back up to the top, they would reset and immediately try to um, stomp down on you again, but unfortunately that's not quite the case. Oh god, 
I don't like this. <laughs> oh wait, okay, we're in one time. Okay, that's why. I know the the guy who made this mod's probably never going to watch this video, but I feel like if you put out an update where those guys kind of, as soon as they went back up to the top, just slammed back down, it would increase the difficulty, but it wouldn't necessarily increase the challenge, if that makes sense. I think it would just be a good thing to do. Okay. Uh, we've already used trash. We haven't used the super soaker, so let's get that out. The Elect Man Jump. That's a good name for it. Okay, that is not... Actually, that is kind of the weakness, isn't it? Uh -oh. oh my god, there it is, the clutch. That is great. That was kind of like a miniature airman with gravity-like physics. I didn't even notice the fire over on the other side, so I probably needed to jump the gap there before he switched sides on it. Oh yeah, he was shooting fire up into that area. I was about to get roasted. That was a good random catch on the weakness there. It didn't seem like the weakness at first because it didn't seem like it was doing a whole lot of damage, but the thing to remember about that weapon in particular is the fact that um, it, its damage comes out over a period of time and not necessarily um, not necessarily all at once. I'm not even going to give those guys a chance to show me what they do. Let's rush Jet over there and get ourselves some life. Aww. Okay, we're at the boss refights. Leaf Man, that's Trash Man. No, it's not. Oh, that's right. We just kind of dead him the regular way. Okay. Leafs are weak against fire. I'm not a fan of that coal weapon. Those flames don't seem to do as much. I forgot that I busted him down. Is that man? That's Leaf. Much better weakness. Uh, fight was like how people fight Fireman to shoot the ice weapon until he dies, hoping that he dies before you. Okay, Magic Man, that was... that was Trash Man. Okay, because I, I did, um... The reason I thought that it was the other way around was because I did Leaf Man a while back. And, like, I just bustered him down, and the Magic Man was the next one that I did, so I was behind on the weakness for that. This is Aquaman. Soak Man, rather. Uh, let's see. He was not Dagger. He was not Cold. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, whenever you spam the shit out of the Zap Shield, that actually is a little bit of an okay weapon. The fact that it makes you completely immune to things is nice. Um, it would be nice if you could just hold it down. Oh fuck, I'm fighting, um, Trash Man. No, not that. Not that either. It's not gonna be the magic missiles, not the daggers. What is your weakness, buddy? Oh god, I think it actually is Soak. No, I don't think it is now that I'm seeing it. Even if it is, fuck that weakness. Alright, 
I'm just gonna buster him. He's so weak. I, I guess he's weak to the buster. I don't know what his actual weakness was. I'm Aquaman! I remember that. Yeah, this guy was definitely Dagger. Oh, you can, you can actually... Okay. You can kind of Zawarado the daggers and make them fire out whenever you want them to. That's cool. Alright. This guy was magic. I remember fighting this guy in Super Fighting Robot. Or not Super Fighting Robot, in um, Rock and Roll. This pattern this time around is a lot simpler, which is something I'm thankful for. Alright, Coal Man. That was Soap Man. Yeah, see what I'm talking about with that weapon? The fact that you have to, um, to kind of wait for it to disperse itself or change it by, like, shifting the weapon yourself. I do not like that. God, who was Axeman's weakness, then? Weak to the axes. Well, right now he doesn't seem to be weak to that. Okay. Ah, uh, the classic. here. By the way, he teleports, he stops time. Oh, nice, they got the whistle in there. That does kind of have a zero flare to it, doesn't it? So his big bang attack, he's always going to fire two of them. Whenever he does the full charge, that is. Two of them followed by one more. Oh, he said a bad word. He said, damn. I failed you, Wily. Oh my goodness. Are you suggesting it must have been Wily all along? Man, I cannot believe that. It was Dr. Wily all along. Oh, okay. I thought they were going to make me go through an entire Wily castle now. Come on. 
Yes! Nice. God, I use that much energy, huh? Alright, there we go. We're full up. Ooh, that's a nice little song. Daggers. Is that the only thing that does it? Oh no, it's axes. Wait, how do I throw them up, though? Okay, it's not that anymore. Thank goodness it's not that. That? No, I don't think so. Oh yeah, it's coal. Man, I would be so in bad shape without that armor upgrades and everything. It's not that one. Oh, that's a scary. Okay, good. It's not the shitty weapon. It's not that one. It wouldn't be coal again. not leaf. Oh my god, it's zap. It would be zap, wouldn't it? Oh, I can't beat that one. Oh man, I was so close. Uh, is it not pressing up and shoot? No, it, um, it was not, which, that's what I would have assumed it was. Let me see if we can figure that out here at the very end of the game. Okay, up shoot, no, down shoot, no. Nope. Yeah, I, I have no clue, like. So that first one was weak against, not daggers, the first one was weak against axes, that's why I was making that comment. So it's axe, coal, and then zap. I wonder if it actually is up and shoot, but because of the detection on Game Maker, um, I wonder if that's what's kind of causing it to not be the case. Every once in a while my, like, sound bugs out and I get, like, a, um, sort of stereo sound of, like, random sound effects. That time I got it for the Metal Blade. That's a cool boss theme, though. I really like that. Or Zap. There it is. But is it possible? Like, I, I'm in complete agreement. I think that the, um... I, I think that it's supposed to be up in the attack button, because, you know, that's what any kind of weapon that has ever had that kind of um, effect has had. Uh-oh, I don't have enough ammo for that. Let's get back over to the buster. There we go. What if it's up and then shoot? Oh, that would be so frustrating if that was what it was. Like tapping up and then pressing fire. <laughs> oh, okay, never mind. I, th I think I see what you're talking about. Rather than hitting them both at the same time, holding up 
Like, you know, kind of, like, giving him a second to maybe, like, look up or something and do it. I guess we'll never figure out. Um, luckily, it didn't, you know, it wasn't too necessary. I am kind of sad that I couldn't throw them up into the air, though. Oh, am I going to have to get out of here? Nope. Wily is also generous for himself, giving himself 15 seconds to escape. Okay. So I think that all of the negatives that I had about this game were outweighed by just, um, all of the upgrades and things that you got. Okay, they're giving us a little bit of ending, um, ending context with this as well. It's nice that there's like a little bit of um, postscript story to this. This one's kind of taking the opposite of uh, Mega Man Rock and Roll, though. Um, whereas Mega Man Rock and Roll had very little dialogue and a lot of like acting, this one kind of has taken the other way. Oh, that's a nice um, Mega Man Battle Network reference. Please say that you cast Magic Missile into the darkness. I would love that so much. Ah, uh, nope. Maybe next time. That's a fight that I would love to watch. I'm Aquaman! Played by Danny DeVito. get to see if um, those Sniper Joes are called Burner Joes. Aww. I'm upset now. Zero out of ten. I actually kind of prefer it whenever they have like these little reasons like this, though. Like, I, li I like the premise of the original Mega Man 1, where the whole entire idea was that they were, um, you know, intended to have, like, a purpose and a function, and they were reprogrammed to be evil. Um, I liked the uh, Mega Man 4 Dr. Cossack, where Wily basically tricked another scientist into working for him. Yeah, I was kind of getting that feeling too. They really had no clue what to do with him because um, Dustman was already the superior superior recycle bot. <laughs> Unrelenting fighting obliterator, also known as UFO. I like that they even took the time to list off the Wily capsule on here. Okay, now that the credits are rolling, now I'll kind of give my proper um, rundown on this. 
I thought that the um, level designs for some of the levels were pretty good. I thought that the enemy placements and just the enemies in general were really well done. Um, I definitely liked the boss selection for the most part, although I will admit, um, Cold Man, Trash Man, like, there's a couple of other ones that I'm not entirely too crazy about, but I did like some of the other ones. Um, Leaf Man is a personal favorite just because I love the Ring Man kind of boomerang style. Ooh, they even have the time on here. That's cool. Um, Axeman is probably my absolute favorite of that list. It was cool to see Dagger Man. Congratulations on beating the game for the first time. Bonus CDs will now appear in certain levels. I'll have to check out what those are sometime. I don't know if I want to like, continue streaming for that. Introducing the Red Mage, the Jack of All Trades, both magic and crazy tactics, leaving them all in their graves. Check them out in special mode. That's weird. Uh, the music in this game was really good. I liked that. Um, I wish they would have used the. Um, I wish they would have used the Super Fighting Robot theme as like the final capsule fight music, though. That would have been like a nice nod to the cartoon series. Wow, that did just straight up end the game, didn't it? Let's see if we get a new title screen after all of this. All in all, it was a good game. Um, I personally wish that um, I, I wish that the controller support was there, and I wish that um, the frame rate was a little bit less jarring. But overall, not bad. Unfortunately, I played this after playing Mega Man Rock and Roll, so I'm a little bit spoiled, and I can't I can't say that's my like my absolute favorite fan game, but. It's it's definitely really well done, especially for being like almost almost entirely done by basically like one or two people. Isn't that Cork Robot from the DOS game? I'm not sure, honestly. I don't know enough about the DOS game to know if that's the case or not. Alright, let's skip to the title screen. No, unfortunately not. That's sad. Let's see what's in the special. Ah, uh, here we go. Red Mage. Let's give this a shot before I turn everything off. Oh, this is Final Fantasy 1 music. Oh yeah, because it's the Red Mage. That's great. That's a nice little nod in there. Did we unlock anything else from him? No, unfortunately not. There's quite a few unlockables on here, though. I'm kind of curious. Okay, the bonus options are right there through the CD, so I'd have to go back through the game and play through that to get those sometime. Um, with that, I'm going to go ahead and call it here. Um, thank you guys for watching. Um, if I do another video on this, I'll try to collect some of the CDs or something and kind of show those off. But um, until then, I guess look forward to the next game, and thanks for tuning in.